if you could go back and tell yourself at a younger age, early on in your addiction medicine career, or even what would apply to other young, you know, uh, pre-med doctors who want to get into addiction medicine, what advice would you give younger you or a younger doctor about to get into the field that you wish you knew when you started? Again, the most important thing is the relationship. You know, the most important thing you can have is the trust between one human being and another and, and realizing that we actually are kind of, we're on the same level, right? And if not for, you know, a stroke of luck here or there, who your parents are, the time in which you were born, I could just as easily be sitting on the other side of the table. And so for me, it's just remembering that shared humanity. That's the most important thing that leads to a person's recovery. I mean, it is, and, and just being able to express to another suffering human being, like, I see you and I want better things for you. To me, that's huge. I mean, that's, that's, that's what is at the heart of Club Hope, right? Which is, how do you bring hope to what seems to be a hopeless situation? Um, you know, I wish I would have known more about 12-step programs. Um, I wish I would have understood uh, what that was about, you know, but sometimes you, you come to that when you come to it, you know, <laughs> so um, you can't always choose that. But just even more education about what is, what is the role of sort of spirituality and, you know, because spirituality is another area that um, is kind of kept out of the healthcare professionals because it's not scientific enough. That's interesting. Okay. And, and, and to me, it's, it's at the heart of so much of what I do has a spiritual basis. It's about spiritual practices and principles that keep a human being on the straight and narrow and help them get toward recovery. And I can't, I could never do my job without that knowledge of how to share that with people, how to, you know, take it in for myself and live it out in my own life. I mean, hugely important. And again, it gets it gets sort of siloed and put to the side, which is a shame because I think that, you know, science and, you know, I don't know who said it, but it's sort of like um, if, if, if science is like the thumb, then, you know, religion is like the pointer finger and you kind of got to do this to close the circle. Like they're not as far apart as people make it out to be like, oh, well, if you're a scientist, you can't be religious. Or if you're religious, you can't be a scientist. And I'm like, uh, yeah, just look around the planet and you'll kind of understand that it's it's all the same thing. We're just maybe talking about it in slightly different terms. Um, so yeah, that, that spiritual piece is hugely, uh, has been a, a huge part of my own job satisfaction. 